What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. If you enjoy what I do, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and also be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be made aware as new content becomes available. In today's video, I just wanted to take a moment to take a look at how I use the audio batch converter when I need to create multiple different formats of files that I have to deliver. So on this one particular gig that I have, I mix the stems or whatever deliverables I need. They all come out as WAV files, but I actually have to deliver WAV, AIFs, and MP3s because certain clients will request different formats. Uh, we need the MP3s for preview. Some music production houses like WAVs, some like AIFs. But I wanted to just take a moment to show how easy it is to do in Studio One. So I'm gonna drag my stems in to the audio batch converter window over here. And because I have this information uh, checked off here, I can automatically see the peak, the RMS, and the R128 values. So this in itself is pretty useful because sometimes if I'm mixing to a spec, I might make a mistake. Maybe I left a limiter on or something, and I can immediately see that something's not right, and I can fix that. Okay, so after I've done this, it's really, really simple. We can choose the output format that we want to have over here. So I'm gonna to change to 24-bit, and let's do the AIF versions, or AIFF, whichever you prefer. Uh, I'm gonna enable source folder, and let's just click process. Now I've got a fairly fast computer, but you can see this just happened in real time, and now I'm gonna to go to the MP3 versions. We'll stick with constant bit rate. I'm gonna change this to 320. 48 and stereo, and we will process these. Now the MP3s take a little bit longer because they need to actually uh, encode the MP3 from the WAV file, but this is super, super quick. And what I was doing before is I was basically doubling up my exports in Studio One. So if I had to do stems, I would do some as MP3s, some as AIFs. The other great thing about this is we have the process rack. So sometimes what ends up happening, I'm not sure why, is sometimes I'll get a tiny little bit of noise in the very front of the file. And it's just this little click, and if there's an area with silence and you have it in loop mode or something, you can hear those clicks. So what I've done is I've just added a very basic fade in with a concave fade uh, 0 0.002 seconds. And this just takes care of any clicks or pops that might be at the very beginning of every single file. Now, once this is done, pretty simple, go to my finder window. I could then right click and compress this. And then this is what I would upload to Dropbox and send off to the client or whoever needs these deliverables. But it's such an awesome workflow to be able to just have one set of exports that I can then use the WAV files to create any file format I want. We've got a lot of different choices here as well. So I've got FLAC, Augvorbis, CAF, uh, M4A. Really, really useful for me. And I've been using the batch converter on a lot of mixing jobs whenever I need different file formats to be delivered. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll do my absolute best to get back to you, and we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.